I think this is my 500th upload, which just doesn't sound right. That sounds ridiculous, but it could be true. Um, so I thought I'd celebrate by talking about the vestibulocochlear nerve, <laughs> cranial nerve eight, because um, I'm having a really busy week and it's only about that long. How long could I possibly spend talking about the vestibulocochlear nerve? Yeah, knowing me, probably too long. The vestibulocochlear nerve is the nerve of the inner ear. So it's, it's kind of two nerves. It's the vestibular nerve and the cochlear nerve, and they, they come together. Uh, the vestibular part is carrying, they're both, well, they're both sensory nerves, so we're gonna follow them from the sensory apparatus they're collecting information from and follow them back into the, the brain stem. We're not gonna talk about the nuclei in much detail. Um, it's mostly the, the external anatomy. Um, the vestibular part carries um, sensory information back from the apparatus that detects movement, movement of the head and acceleration of the head. Um, and the cochlear part carries the sound bit from the cochlea, all right? We've looked at the structures of the inner ear elsewhere. They're both special sensory nerves. They carry special sensation. Uh, so they might be called special somatic afferent uh, nerves or fibers within them. Um, to orient ourselves, I think we should look at where the nerve runs within the skull first, right? So, skull, take the skull cap off. So, so where we're looking is, we're looking at this ridge here. So there's, there's foramen magnum, right? Now on either side, there's a ridge running in this direction. This is the petrous part of the temporal bone. And the reason there's a bony ridge there is because inside that bony bit is the inner ear. The structures of the cochlea and the vestibular apparatus are inside the bone there. And we can see um, a few holes, a few canals, a few foramina. And what we've got is we've got this, this canal entering there. That gets called the internal acoustic meatus or internal auditory meatus. The external one is ear. So there's the external auditory meatus. This is the internal. They don't, it's not a continuous tube. You couldn't push a pipe cleaner through there and it come out through your ear. They're, they're different. This is a blind ending tube. So if I push the pipe cleaner in there, even though this is a very good plastic skull, it doesn't, it doesn't come out anywhere. So that is where the vestibulocochlear nerve, cranial nerve eight runs. And inside there, we'll find the bits that we're talking about. So we talk about the vestibular nerve first. The neurons in there are a little bit special. So inside the internal acoustic meatus is a vestibular ganglion. So a ganglion is a collection of nerve cell bodies outside the central nervous system, in the peripheral nervous system. And this collection of nerve cell bodies um, has bipolar neurons within it. That is, you have a neuron with a cell body and it essentially sends out two axons. So it's gonna send one axon towards the vestibular apparatus, the sensory apparatus of the inner ear, and it sends the other axon back to the uh, central nervous system. That's the central fiber, and the one going out to the, the ear is the peripheral fiber. Okay, so if I grab a, an ear, ear, ear. So there's, you know, you see where we are, right? Left ear. Um, here then, this is the petrous part of the temporal bone. The bone's been removed so we can see the structures of the inner ear. Uh, we have the semicircular canals and they have uh, ampullae, widenings with hair cells in. Um, and they have, we've got two um, flatter spaces and there are fluid in these spaces. And as you move your head and bounce up and down and what have you, um, the fluid moves and through mechanisms we've described earlier, their hair cells are flexed. And the hair cells, uh, they then synapse with the peripheral processes of those bipolar neurons of the vestibular ganglion. They cause depolarization of those, of those fibers, of those axons, which then run back as the vestibular nerve. So what we can see here is there's the, there's the, um, 
the cochlea, the shell, the cochlea, that's the hearing part. And coming from both of those then, it looks like we have a single nerve, and that's the vestibulocochlear nerve, which has those two parts, vestibular and cochlea. So, the, those fibres carrying those action potentials, carrying those impulses from the hair cells, uh, run with the vestibular nerve, which joins with the cochlear nerve, uh, appears from the internal acoustic, so it runs through the internal acoustic meters and appears here, and here's the brian, here's the brainstem, there's the pons and the medulla, we see the vestibulocochlear nerve, so the vestibular nerve enters the brainstem where the pons meets the medulla and around here are a number of vestibular nuclei which then connect to a number of other systems involved in balance and coordination and movement and things like your extraocular muscles so you can keep looking at something when you're moving your head which is a very cool reflex okay cochlear nerve next cochlear slightly different model here here's the cochlea now the um, the cochlear nerve also uses uh, bipolar neurons, which means there must be a ganglion because there must be a collection of nerve cell bodies somewhere. And actually, um, so if we look in the centre of the spiral, the spiral ganglion of the cochlear nerve is in the centre there. So it sends out peripheral processes, which are going peripherally, right, to meet the hair cells of the cochlea that are spiralling around this again fluid filled chamber with hair cells in it um, and when those hair cells are deflected caused by sound we've, we've talked about that somewhere else when those hair cells are deflected they synapse with the peripheral processes of those neurons of the spiral ganglion cause depolarization and that depolarization those action potentials are then carried back to the spiral ganglion and then out to central processes. So it's the central processes that are forming the cochlear nerve. And you can see here, you can see that the cochlear nerve is a lot bigger than the vestibular nerve. And I, I think that is the fact. Um, so there is, if you have more neurons, you have more fidelity. You have more, you can transmit more information, right? So then those central processes of the spiral ganglion run, run back as the cochlear nerve, they meet the vestibular nerve, those two run together as the vestibulocochlear nerve, cranial nerve eight, and again it reappears, because it's running within the internal acoustic meatus, it reappears inside the cranial cavity. And of course we've already seen the vestibulocochlear nerve um, entering the brainstem where the pons meets the medulla but it runs to um, a number of cochlear nuclei in the medulla, which um, many of those fibers then run off to the inferior colliculus, but that's a story for another day. In fact, I might already have told it, because <laughs> I do that. Um, and then eventually to the, the auditory centers of the brain so we can perceive sound, so that's the cochlear nerve. So, vestibular cochlear nerve. So there you go. Um, the vestibular cochlear nerve has two parts, a vestibular part and a cochlear part. Each has a ganglion, um, which is a collection of nerve cell bodies sending out two axons, a peripheral axon towards the sensory apparatus and a central axon or process back to the brain, the central nervous system. Um, the vestibular ganglion is the ganglion of the vestibular nerve. The spiral ganglion is the ganglion of the cochlear nerve. And um, they basically carry the, the, um, the action potentials from the hair cells as they deflect. Uh, they come together as the vestibulocochlear nerve. They run within the eternal acoustic meatus, internal acoustic meatus, open into the cranial cavity, pass into the brainstem where the pons meets the medulla, and then the fibers run off to find their respective nuclei and go on to do to make those connections to do all the things that we can do like you listening to me bumble on about all of this right next job see you guys next week oh no 501 sheesh <laughs>